Right, okay. Last time on Plunge Gaming. Ben did nothing. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely nothing. But he did teach us about the birds and the bees. Yeah. I, I, what? <laughs> basically, basically, the, the bees stab their stinger into the, the birds. And that's how it works. Otherwise, hi, welcome back to Plunge Gaming. I'm James. I, I'm a failure. <laughs> I am a failure as a man. Apparently Ben is now a failure. This game is just... Oh, I've got no magic left. Great, fine. No magic. That's cool. 16 damage. No big deal. I think I... I think I uh, Flungers, I think I broke Ben. I actually broke him. Uh, it's okay. It's okay. We'll manage it. One more. We'll get them up another level, and then the thing. Will Please, happen. yeah, just because uh, I want to make sure everyone's prepared. You know. We'll be fine. I didn't do this the first time I played it through, and I survived. I mean, I died heaps of times, but you know, <laughs> <laughs> I survived. Cats on go back. Well, it only took me like two years to complete. Whatever. <laughs> <laughs> Did you see that? The way that attacks. Just... <laughs> Stabbing you. Oh, oh Bumfluff's gonna go oh on a trance. Oh god, he broke my bendable back! Bastard! You prick. Uh, uh, you hey! Level up. Level up. <laughs> right. Ah, oh, what the fuck? Level up. <laughs> uh, pardon. Pizza's apparently, good. Apparently we've been leveling up Ben's burping. My, my burping doesn't need leveling up. I am at max potential. It's more the fact we were doing testing of the sound earlier, and we have a thing where the problem might be accidental echoes on our video because of the sound. Which we're very... This is a TV. It's, it's also because the mic's that powerful. It's Stevie! Stevie the TV! Sorry. I thought we were going to... I thought we were... I, why we, I thought we weren't going to talk... I thought we were talking about Steve the sea lion for a second. piss there. off. He can just... No, he's in the past. We're done. <laughs> we're moving forward. We're done with Steven now, aren't we? <laughs> we're done... We're, we're on the tiny little shitty snakes. Whatever. It's cool. Well, it makes it easier for them to back attack you, doesn't it? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Well, yeah, you two would know everything about tiny little snakes. Whatever. Fine. What? <laughs> I don't know. I thought you were making a sex thing it. Says the one who knows about metal pieces being in between yeah. said snakes. Right, no, well, more, we'll like, more like, more like, like, through his head. Whatever. What? No. <laughs> just stop. Play the game. You, yeah, just, just play just the game. Just, just stop. Just shut up. Just stop. We're probably doing a lot of in-jokes that you guys won't know, and you know what? That's cool. <laughs> I had my, I, I had my penis first. Yeah, that yeah, explains yeah. that there. Let's yeah. move on. <laughs> I, had, I remember having my nipple pierced before. Many Apparently years. that's worse. Yeah. It, well, to be honest, it's stingy for like a second, and then it's like, it's over and done. You're like, oh, okay. Yeah. Can I get the other one done? You got enough money? No? Fuck off. <laughs> oh, of course. Sorry. Adalbert uh, is going to level up faster than the other guys. Now exactly, because of the yeah. ability, which yeah. everyone can learn level up as well. And ability up to that's, give you more that's, ability points. That's going, point. that's going to really fuck with my gaming OCD. Because even in Pokemon, <laughs> all my Pokemon have to level at the same rate. I have to have a team of the same level. Otherwise, it's like... <laughs> you know why you shouldn't worry about that, Ben? Why? Because I'm telling you what to do. <laughs> Still, gaming OCD. Especially, looks you're going to be losing your characters at some point. You're going to be leveling up, yeah, and they're not going to be leveling up too. Your OCD does not exist in this game, I'm afraid. It still does. <laughs> really. still does. Except for Quina. I never give a shit about Quina. Quina's cool, especially if you do the frog eating game. Yeah. Well. Levels up that frog drop where you have oh, yeah, no. like that... nine, 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 nine. Why always on her? Why always on her? she heals. If you're gonna uh, spray anyone, it's too big draws, Wait, these are- these are uh, forest- uh, Let me just scrape. Let, let, let me just let me just scrape the tone off the floor now. Okay? <laughs> Fuck off. No. All right, I've had three fucking hours of sleep. Give me a break. That is cool. <laughs> no, I was gonna say it's like they're forest spiders, like massive ones like that. But what did they know about tactics? Hey, I dropped sand ore. Well, I know the fact they seem to grow that large and they seem to be quite plentiful. No matter what we do to attack and kill them, which yeah. means they must be good at what they're doing. We're, we're, we're doing a cull right now, is what we're doing. <laughs> Just in this case, no one's actually bothering us or getting the lead guitarist the Queen to make a song about it. Oh, oh well, yes. Oh no, they can't, he did it with Weeble, where it was like, the Badgers, the Badgers song. You know, badger, 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 badger. Oh right, see my last day of school, everybody in the uh, <laughs> IT room just went in there and put that on every single computer. Oh. And left the uh, IT tech to switch them all off. <laughs> I think it drove them slightly mad. Oh, uh, we in my last year in Sitmacher, um, 
Yes, oh, I'm naming my actual school. Oh, oh, hey, oh, heaven. oh, heavens. Uh, How did you survive there? Not get stabbed. <laughs> you learned to hide. Yeah. A lot. <laughs> and run. Yes, but basically my last year, I remember being late to it. Oh. Of which my English teacher was also giving out awards. And for the... Late was my award, and I never even. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's only apt, isn't it? But, and then, it would be like, even funnier if it was for a perfect attendance. The thing is, the thing is, the thing is then all kinds of craziness happened. I was in the library just scamming away. In this case, last day, I didn't care. I was going to yeah. use the internet. And then six and fifth years we were leaving or whatever, we're coming in like silly stringing the whole fucking library. Nice. And even well, more. And some people were also trying to deal with... For some reason, Samanka has a Japanese garden that's not a real proper Japanese garden. Oh, fuck, where's that again? Yeah, like, in the middle, just near the library, down the stairs where you go to the old boys' school hall. Oh, jeez. That thing, yeah, yeah. yeah. But yeah. Someone, bit, someone moved the statue in okay. it. The Buddha statue. And then some people also could coerce seagulls into the building. Oh, my God. <laughs> okay. And there was one point where a fish was stuck to a ceiling somewhere. Speaking, oh, of, speaking of animal <laughs> involvement, right? Okay, I'm going to tell, like like tell you a story. This involves sheep, but it doesn't. it's not oh. what you think. It's not, it's you, you, not what you think. It's yeah, not what you think. Yeah, but to explain to Flinders that don't know Aberdeen, Aberdeen apparently in football towns we're known as sheep shaggers. Well, so we're so far north, there's nothing else to do apparently. Apart from each other, but well, no one well, wants to do that. Anyway, anyway, <laughs> so. uh, there's there's a <laughs> there's a legendary story that goes around my school. I'm not sure if everybody heard it. A couple of people in the senior year of my school told me before I left. Apparently, a couple of years before I was there, <laughs> what some of the seniors did as they were leaving was they stole four sheep out of a local farm, oh my God. <laughs> and they took them along to the school. And what they did was they, they made a, a, a start line at the front of the school and a finish line at the back. And they just let these sheep go anywhere they wanted. But what they did was, this is the thing that got me, they painted numbers on them, right? You know, like racing sheep. But they painted the numbers one, two, three, and five. So they got all four of them and <laughs> spent all night looking for number four. Oh, that is brilliant! <laughs> oh <my God>. <laughs> <laughs> it's phenomenal. <laughs> I thought I could not come up with anything like that in my wildest dreams. <laughs> oh, <God. laughs> like, oh, I think they eventually said, oh, I must have just escaped. I'm sure it did. <laughs> I, half, I half wanted somebody to get, you know, you get... The uh, it's gonna sound weird again. Half what you know, you get those like sheep sex inflatables. Oh, I yeah, yeah, to, I know. I kind of wanted to get somebody just to get one of those, fill it with helium, paint the number four on the side of it, and just like tie it to the top of the gym. <laughs> That'd be phenomenal. Man, you're an evil, evil genius. <laughs> All the first years. Why does that sheep go holes in its arse and its mouth? You don't want to know. You don't want to know. <laughs> <laughs> I'm actually which school did you suffer at? Uh, Dice Academy. Oh, wait, yeah. oh, you. That was de that's a decent one, right? Eh, it was before we went there. <laughs> no, <laughs> apparently every year before ours was great, and then ours started a trend of just a slow decline <laughs> of the, like, uh, amount of exclusions, amount of uh, expulsions, everything like that, you know? Uh, at least you never got a stupid song made up about you. A song? Uh, because uh, there was a time when. I went to kind of like my first kind of rock night and it was in Lava, which is Bloody was hell. then known as Kev and is now known as the Aberdeen Hotel next yeah. to Siberia. I love that. Nightclub and turns into the hotel. <laughs> I know, but it was also my first time doing things like a mosh. Alright, nice. And think of it, young it's Bouncy floor and everything. Yeah, yeah but think yeah. of it. 14 or something and think of it, pet up full of rage, full of bullying, yeah. and then you're unleashed. Apparently some of my friends were scared to get into the Bosch pit with me. Well, I did. I also knocked someone that was like six foot something down. Uh, uh, pardon me. It's amazing what you do if you go over the shins. <laughs> <laughs> but it's the fact that there was some dude at school Take which. The shins. <laughs> there was some dude at school which I'm not going to name just in case. Yeah. Better than, but there was some tune that started up with the Here Comes the Bosch Am I. I would wear that with a, as a badge of pride. Like, I am oh, I did. Oh, I, I did, am a fucking did. mosher, man. Uh, oh, darn it! Why aren't you blood? Jesus, woman! I said, like, there's not many people I speak to from Samaka these days, to be honest. Nah. I think it's the same with you as well, Fraser. Yeah. Um, he was. A, he was, just to say he was about yeah. a couple. Were you a year or two behind me? Uh, I think two years behind you. Yeah. Because did you stay all the way to six years? No, fuck that! I went as soon as I could. What, what year was this? Uh, I think I left in fourth. Yeah, I left in fourth year. Fourth year. So yeah, yeah. What year was that? 
Like 2004, 2005, 2006, what? Four, we would have been in the same year if we were in school together. Because I was the youngest in my year, so. Uh, I, I know 2000, that, dude. Yeah, 2004, I think, yeah. So, I, I, le I left in 2004, like at the end of my six years, so you were two years below me. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I, 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 I stayed on. I wait, uh, to be honest, I stuck on because one, I had to stay in fifth year. I had no choice in the matter. That your dad's decision was it? No, I was fifteen. Oh uh, right, of course, yeah. I'm the same as you, mate. Yeah. Well, I mean, I you know. You know what I mean? Yeah. I know. It's the fact that basically, because my birthday is like in 1987, and the cutoff point's like end of February or March or something. It's, it's a like, weird one, isn't it? It really is, but. I also sucked because when I went to uni and I was at 17, meet for the first six months, I couldn't even drink in my own bloody union. Oh, I was the same first when I went to college. I was 17. So, well, I still drank, but, you know, I snuck in. Uh, it was <laughs> tricky for me to try and get a drink. It was like, ah, oh, come on. Well, you know where we went? We, we all went out on Friday night, by the way, and we had a few pints. We went to the Blue Lamp. Oh, it was good that was That was where I used to go when I was 17 to drink. That's where I got my first pint. Uh, ben also decided to walk in memory lane by going to bit where we first properly yeah, we, we, met. Yeah, the blue lamp, the, the pub, we, we're in the function room, but through in the actual main pub is a is a, a chair, just like a little corner seat, and that was where James and I actually met. And I was mental. Because the company, although I'm still, you still tell the time when you first saw me. Yeah, the first <laughs> time I met James. The first time I met James, well, the first time I saw James, rather. I didn't speak to him the first time I saw him because he was performing at an uh, open mic night. Well, it was kind of an open mic night, wasn't it? It was a comedy night. And you, you, had, a, you had a small set. And uh, the thing was, he, this, 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 uh, this woman went on stage and you know, she had this great, like, you know, great... Uh, what's the term? Oops. No, presence. Presence. Uh, presence would be the word. And they came on stage and they were very, you know, they had this great look. And then, uh, and then all of a sudden they just took the mic and went, "Hello there, I'm James." <laughs> <laughs> and it was James in drag. That was the first time I met him, and I thought he was a girl. Uh, <laughs> that was funny. <laughs> but that's when you had your your was it was, it, was it when you had your long sort of whitish hair, wasn't it? Yeah, kind Beach of blondish, heading towards like silver. It was about down my shoulders at the yeah. time. Yeah, you were doing like a cadaver. I've actually seven advent children. Yeah. A little bit, yeah. I mean, I eventually got the wig for it, but I had like I had the skinny figure and everything compared to you know fatso now. But hey. I egg, I am a hey, I'm I I, I like my wig. You got there in the end. <laughs> I, I I don't hate myself that much, just a little. No, shush. Ah, sh oh, I we love you, James. I need an adult. <laughs> I am an adult. No. <laughs> no, you're not. <laughs> I was just giggling to myself in the middle of here. <laughs> this <laughs> constant Dragon Ball Z bridge quotes. <laughs> well, everything a bridge to quote. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, uh, uh, so like, earlier today, because we were doing the whole Metal Gear Rising, I saw TFS Gaming had a thing where Vegeta does Renegade for yeah. Life. And he's been doing so many episodes of Metal Gear Revenge, and so the part was just like, oh my god, I wish I could say some of the stuff he said. It's fucking amazing! <laughs> Even though I should not be advertising other people's Let's Plays, but it's like, oh, come on, it's fucking awesome. It's a good community to be involved in, you know? Mm-hmm. I would be, I would bet, here's the thing. Like, oh, critical hit, you got, you got sliced in half. Right, but here's the thing, and you know, people always say, oh, don't sponsor and promotion and everything like that. I will gladly promote anything that I love for free. Like, I have a passion for Dr. Pepper. I will gladly. Uh, 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 Who cares? Uh, it's free advertising for them. It doesn't make us any money. Fuck it. You know. Uh, it's more because I hate Dr. Pepper. I love this unless stuff. unless it's mixed with Jack. Oh, and it's actually pretty nice. Oh yes. Dr. Pepper and Jack is nice, but just the just Dr. Pepper. It was a friend of mine in uh, England when I was visiting a town called Flitic. 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 You see, you see the fight. word. You see the uh, words, and it says Flitwick, but you pronounce it Flitic. 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 Oh, like Flitwick from Harry Potter. Yeah. Except say Flitic, otherwise. Except technically, you. his name should be M Professor Flitic. <laughs> but otherwise, uh, mate of mine, uh, Emsel, basically just made this up, and I was like, oh, okay, it, it actually tastes good, even though I usually hate Dr. Pepper. This case, like, ooh, it's like alcoholic caramel. <laughs> <laughs> nice. No, I mean, for me, uh, another uh, one, really? Come on. There's been a lot of back attacks. This is going to be the one that uh, Lizzie goes up a level. But, I mean, for me, right. No, literally it is. We've got, she's got 19 experience to go. It's not even a euphemism. So basically you're saying, <laughs> after this back attack, she'll finally level up. She'll finally cope the stress. I don't know where we're going with this, but I'm going to say yes. 
I was just saying something quite innocently. What were you thinking about, Fraser? I don't know. <laughs> Why are people laughing right now? Oh, I just said she's going to level up after this fight because she's got 19 experience to go. <laughs> ben, is, ben, ben is so cute and innocent in me I'm and so Fraser. Good. What did I say? Me and Fraser are horrible, horrible human oh, beings. Oh, dude, to fight before I kill thing again. Come on, bum fluff. <laughs> Seriously, bruh. It doesn't get old when you say that. Mate. Look at his amazing samurai. Look at his amazing samurai armor now. What the and the thing's dead. What a waste. What an absolute waste. <laughs> <laughs> Just, yay, up a level. <laughs> okay, right. otherwise, that's another one of our montage videos in terms of draining. We will see you in the I, next installment, kiddies. I just... You see the shit I have to deal with? <laughs> Love Bye. you. Bye.